Hey folks, Ashley, all things industry.com. And I want to talk about um, cleaning, sort of hygiene with uh, bridges, FTP. So you can use this for your patients. Um, I had a patient today who was sedated and I sent her off um, and I didn't have an opportunity. I dismissed her and even if I would have d discussed uh, doing, providing uh, hygiene, she would have forgotten. So you know who you are. <laughs> I'm making this video for you, but we'll share it with everyone else. So here's the here's in this case the anterior FTP. We've got uh, single pontic, and we're gonna go through the different. You know, I've only got five or six tools. There's probably four billion different little tools. So let's just go through the basics. We're gonna go price wise, cheapest to maybe most costly perhaps. So the first one is um, floss threader. So essentially, a piece of fishing line, a little thicker and you thread this through below apical to the uh, proximal contact through the, where the pontic is pull it through and you can use this is uh, like teflon what's it called the uh, glide or probably better to use uh, just a regular floss use whatever you got i remember an instructor in dental school said you know what as long as you get their teeth clean so what you want to do with this is essentially you want to do wrap it around your fingers, wrap around your middle fingers, that's the key, wrap, wrap, and then use, watch my thumb, my index finger, thumb and index fingers, and you keep the tension by putting it around your middle fingers. That's the key first part. And then so you have your, uh, uh oh, this popped off, I don't have it cemented down, so let's pretend, that, okay, there we go. So what you want to do is go up, and down, not back and forth like a like a like a chainsaw. You just want to go up and down like this. And what you want to do is just scrape the plaque off of there. So and then you'll slide it underneath the pontic or your fake tooth, and then up and down, up and down like that. So the key that I should have mentioned is wrapping the floss around your middle fingers and using it to keep it tight, don't wrap it around your finger, your index fingers because those are the guys, these are the drivers, that's where you're going to put it. So you can use your thumb, so say thumb and index depending on if you're top or bottom, index and index, thumb and thumb, uh, makes life much easier. That's like the hidden secret in flossing embedded in the middle of the video. Okay, so there's one. Next one is, well you can cheat instead of doing that, you use a floss threader. This isn't for uh, bridges but you can use that to get around um, any spots. So the key to flossing is up and down like this underneath the uh, where your teeth join, where it snaps. So get it under there. Essentially, you're just sort of rubbing the plaque away. Next, uh, let's see. Next version. Let's go with uh, super floss. This is pretty cool stuff. It's like fishing line floss and a little piece of uh, I don't know, gauze, kind of stretchy sponge. So if you see at the one end. This is like a fishing line that's a little heavier. So you fish this through like this, and then you can use the sort of spongy end to kind of go up and you, this you can kind of go back and forth nice and light. Don't try to saw your tooth in half, that doesn't typically work. And then just go up and down and then underneath the fake tooth of the what we call the pontic. Ah, oh, don't flip your, you know, if you flip your bridge off, that's not a good sign. Okay, let's put that back on there. So there's another one, and then to make things really easy, there's just floss at the end. So you can again wrap around the middle fingers, and then you can floss your other teeth up and down, up and down through the con through where they they join, the teeth connect, and again using that. Okay, let's keep going here. I want this video to be short. Alrighty, next thing we've got our series on little Christmas trees. So we've got um, what's called a proxy brush. So essentially, they're little Christmas trees. Can you see that? Right there, little Christmas trees. Um, here's like a travel version. I've never seen this before, that's kind of crazy. So you can put that in, you can use this for regular, between regular teeth. So it just goes in there nice and light, in here nice and light, in here nice and light. And I guess this is for different angles. I'm not sure. I'm waving at you. Okay. Next one is another version of the Proxy brush. Now, I think the biggest Look at that, isn't that neat? And you can bend it to get into the different angles. So again, you just want to get in here. Now the key thing about all these little proxy brush things, here's the handle for another one. Let me just 
show you this. Uh, so the way that this works is you take the little Christmas tree, put it into the hole. See, there's a little hole here. Put it into the hole. Oh, wrong hole. Put it into there and see the little groove how it bends it down. So there we go, boom. And then you can use this. This gets underneath the bridge. Perfect. You can use this if you got bigger gaps between other teeth and you can't forget it. Now a lot of probably one percent of the population likes flossing, so let's be realistic about this. So it's another way of flossing in a sense. Now the key thing here is that when you look at these, you can buy different sizes of the whole. You know, think about the Proxa brushes. You can get this is moderate. I would get fine if you can find the fine in these versions. I mean, this is like sticking I don't know, like a, a super big um, pipe cleaner through your teeth. The and the fine ones, the wire's a lot narrower and it's a lot easier to get into. So just some ideas. And I think that is what other stuff do I have here? I think that's it. So the key, I'm gonna tell you the secret of keeping, maintaining your bridges, keep them clean, that is it. Anything man-made is gonna fail, and the longer you can uh, keep it from failing, the better. So keep it clean, where you're gonna, the most points of failure, um, due to getting a cavity, is right here. It's right where you cannot access with regular floss. So if you can keep that super clean, you might be able to hold onto your bridge a lot longer. All right, so you know who you are. Haha, -ha, I got you. So I hope that helps, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.